Hey you guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday morning. Hope everyone is having a good morning. It is right now, it's only 8.30 in the morning. I was up early and out this morning. I had to run to Walmart to pick up, um, <coughs> excuse me, pick up some Coke Zero. Um, it's so funny because I went to Walmart when I got off last night to pick up something for dinner for today. And you'll see all that later. And when I got home, I'm like, oh, I forgot. I took my last Coke Zero to work with me. <laughs> and I didn't get any. So I definitely got up this morning to get some because this is a house that cannot have, can, that cannot be without Coke Zero. Coffee and Coke Zero. You know, just, just cannot not have it. So anyway, I went and got my Coke Zero and I'm gonna make me some coffee. So I'm having the pecan praline this morning. And this is by um, the Community Coffee brand. So this is really good. I like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and get that brewing. So I hope everyone is having a great start to your week. It's Wednesday, we're halfway through. So I wanted to show you guys something. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to address a comment about, um, somebody asked me if I was still doing my weight update videos. And the answer to that is yes and no. Um, I had mentioned in a previous video one video where I was like in my closet cleaning out whatever and I was talking about my weight. I was saying that um, my weight is fluctuating between, between 212 and 214. Like it really isn't moving much beyond that. So um, I had said that I was gonna try some different things and see if some things was working, what was happening or whatever. And I had said that once my weight got below the 212, I will let you guys know. Because right now, I just don't see the point in doing a weight update video every week when I'm just showing you the same plus and minus of two pounds. Like, it just, it's, to me, it just doesn't really make much sense. So, I had said that once <clears throat> my weight, once I got below the 212, or if I got bigger than, I don't know, the 214, that I will let you guys know. But right now, I weighed myself a couple of days ago and I was 213. So I'm still right there in that middle, in that middle range right there so that's why i haven't done any weight update videos because there's really nothing to update you guys on i'm still doing my low carb i will always do my low carb and we're just gonna let things work the body work itself out um maybe i have to do more activity i don't know but for now that's where the weight stands 213 if i get below 212 i will let you guys know or if i for some reason and going in the opposite direction, I will let you guys know. But right now, I'm 213. That's where it stands. So I want to show you guys something. I was in Walmart this morning, and I want to get me some Quest chips. But then I ran across these wild protein chips. And I had these. The first time I had these was when I was in D.C. No, I was going on my way going to D.C. to go see my daughter for Mother's Day. And I wanted a snack in the airport. And I saw these, and I picked them up, and they were really good. So I decided to go with these protein chips this time. And this is the barbecue. I got the barbecue one and, this, and I got the pink Himalayan salt. So I picked up these and I like these because they're made with chicken breast, egg whites, and bone broth. And they're 10 grams of protein per serving. And there's four servings in here. So a serving is about 20 chips, 170 calories, eight total carbs, six net carbs, and like I said, 10 grams of protein in a serving of these protein chips. So I figured I would just give these a try with maybe some chicken salad or on the side of a sandwich or something. So I'm gonna give these a try. And like I said, um, this is the pink Himalayan salt and this is the barbecue one. So we'll see how these taste. And I also had to pick up some more of my keto granola and this is in the toasted almond. I really like this. I like it in my chia seed pudding and my yogurt and things like that. So got me some more of that so my coffee is brewing and I have it in my cup do everything in love I just love the love birds there they are just so cute all right you guys so I'm gonna finish up my coffee and then I will show you guys something to eat it is only 8 30 not quite hungry right now so I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys back here in just a little bit all right, y'all, so it is 11.11, and I'm gonna have my first meal of the day. I'm having just scrambled eggs. This is like one egg and some egg whites mixed in, and I'm just having a piece of um, pork sausage, and I am drinking on my 
water. I filled this up. So I've been sipping on it for most of the morning. So this is what I'm having, just some eggs and a piece of sausage. And that's all I really feel like having. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. All right, y'all, so it is about 12.30 and I'm having a little bit of a snack. So I'm having just a yogurt bowl. I have some plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I have some strawberries in here. I do have two tablespoons of my granola that I showed you guys earlier. And I do have some of the white chocolate zero sugar jello pudding mix in here, just for a little added flavor and sweetness. So this is my little yogurt bowl that I have and I'm still sipping on my water. So I have a little bit left to go. So this is what I'm doing for a little bit of a midday protein packed snack. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna eat my yogurt. I'm watching a movie over there and I'll catch up back with you guys in just a little bit. All right, you guys, so it is now 2.09 p.m. and I'm going to have a little bit of a lunch. I'm gonna have some tuna wrapped in some lettuce, so a little bit of lettuce tuna wraps. And then I'm having a zero sugar A&W root beer. All right, y'all, so this is lunch and when I come back, this should hold me over till dinner. So when I come back, I'll be seeing you guys at dinner. All right, you guys, so it is 4.30 and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get dinner started and I'm gonna be making some stuffed chicken breasts. So over here, I do have some boneless, skinless chicken breasts over here. I'm gonna be using some spinach. I have two things of spinach here. I might not need both, but you know, spinach wilts down to nothing. So I'll see if I need both of those. I'm gonna be using some bacon. Now you can use turkey bacon, you can use beef bacon. I'm using regular good old pork bacon. I have some cream cheese, and this is just a regular original cream cheese. You can use a flavored cream cheese if you want. You can use the one third less fat, whatever cream cheese you like. I have an onion here that I'm going to uh, dice up a little bit of. A little bit of. And for the seasonings, y'all, I'm gonna be using the Kinder's. This is a blend salt, pepper, garlic. I'm also gonna use some of the Kinder's seasoning, the grilled chicken. This is sea salt, garlic, and herbs. I'm gonna be using some Italian seasoning. And that's gonna be it for the seasoning, guys. I figured this would cover uh, most of what I need for this recipe. And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get my spinach and everything started. So I'll be right back. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Now that's preheating. All right, y'all, so I've already started. I've got my bacon going here in this pan. And you can use as much or as little bacon as you like. My oven is ready. I've used, um, I want to say about maybe six or seven slices of bacon in here because I am stuffing three large chicken breasts. So I'm going to go ahead and so I got my bacon frying up here. And that's one I'm going to go ahead, y'all. I've diced up half an onion. I'm going to go ahead and put that in with my bacon. Get all of that cooking up together. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and gonna let this bacon cook. All right, you guys, so my filling is done. This is the bacon, the onion, and the spinach. And I just sauteed that spinach down in the bacon grease with the onion, and I just added in some onion powder, garlic powder, some of this, and some of this. The same seasoning I'm gonna put on the chicken. I'm just gonna let it cool down before I add in the um, cream cheese. All right, so over here, y'all, I have already butterflied open. My chicken breasts as you can see here i've already washed them and i butterfly them open basically you just you know cut them open like a book and now i'm just going to go ahead and season these up while this mixture cools down so like i said i'm going to use some of this kinder salt pepper garlic make sure you just get it all over that chicken make sure that they're seasoned really well and this is just the grilled chicken seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of use this up. I don't have a whole lot left, but put some of that on there. Give it some really good flavor. I'm gonna add some extra onion powder to this. I'm 
and some extra garlic. And I'm missing one thing, y'all. I wanted to add a little bit of paprika to it as well. So I'm gonna turn these over and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. This one kind of fell apart on me, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna season up the other side of this chicken. And we're gonna sear it in that same pan that I seared the bit the, that I cooked the mixture in. This is gonna be so good, y'all. I have not had stuffed chicken breast in a long time. It's been a minute since I made this. I'm not really a fan of like boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Like I like it in like, you know, my um, salads and stuff, but I don't really eat it like as a main protein. Maybe I should start, huh? Cause you can do so much, you can do so much with it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them back over. Cause I'm gonna get ready to stuff them in a minute. And that's what my seasoning looks like. If you can see that. They're going to be well seasoned, y'all. Well seasoned. You want to well season your protein. Get everything in there. That should be well seasoned. This is not seasoned that great on this side. Especially with chicken breast. Because chicken breast is so bland. There's like no flavor in the darn thing. It's not like, you know, thighs and legs where there's a little bit of flavor in the dark meat and white meat there's just no flavor at all so just want to make sure that um you know you're getting some good flavor in your in your meat okay so those are all seasoned up i'm gonna go ahead and get my cream cheese mixture going all right you guys so this is my cream cheese spinach mixture that's all mixed up in there the cream cheese is all melted up in there it looks really good i have my cast iron skillet here that i cook my spinach and my bacon in and i added some avocado oil in the pan and i have um i'm getting it warmed up so i want to sear these on the outside in the pan then i'm going to throw everything in the oven so I'm going to go ahead and get these chicken breasts stuffed. Let me just get me a fork. Okay. So start stuffing these babies. So I'm going to go ahead and put my, my mixture in my chicken. They might be overstuffed, y'all. They might be overstuffed. That's okay. I got one going. And I'm finna use all this mixture in here, so don't worry about the spoon going back in the bowl because everything's gonna be, it's all going in there. I'm not saving none of this mixture for nothing else. It's all going right in these chicken breasts, honey. This would be really good, like, you know, eggs in the morning and stuff like that, if you wanted to do that. But all this is going right here in these um, in these chicken, chicken breasts. They're gonna be a little bit overstuffed, but they're gonna be all right. They're gonna be good, y'all. They're gonna be good. All right, so. I got all that stuffing in there, so. We're good to go with that. Now I'm going to take my chicken breast and I'm going to put it in my avocado oil because it's hot. So I'm just going to take them. I'm not even going to bother using the tongs. I'm just going to lay it right in my skillet. I if you can hear that here. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Some of your filling might come out, but hey, that's okay. It will be delicious. Alright, 
wash my hands. y'all these chicken breasts all right y'all so these are the chicken breasts they're just going to sear them we're going to sear them on both sides and then once they brown a little bit on both sides and get some color in them i'm going to stick them in the oven for about 15 20 minutes all right y'all so this is what they look like i just took them over and as you can see the stuffing is still in them they look so good so when they brown on this side y'all i'm going to put them in the oven and i'll let you guys know exactly how much time i need it because Y'all, these some thick chicken breasts. Like, these chicken breasts, is, they, they thick. So, <laughs> I'm gonna um, go ahead, let them sear, and I'm gonna throw them in the oven. They're at 350 degrees, and I will let you guys know how long it took for them to go ahead and cook thoroughly. All right, y'all, so we'll be back here in a few minutes. All right, y'all, so this is what those chicken breasts look like coming out of the oven. As you can see, they are still sizzling. You guys, they look amazing. And they were in the oven for one hour, exactly one hour. I guess it would depend on how big and thick your chicken breasts are. These are pretty thick, so I wanted to make sure they were cooked thoroughly. If you have thinner ones, it might be less time. But for these, they were in the oven for an hour, and they just look totally delicious. And then over here, I made some green beans. I'm going to have green beans with mine. And then I made my family just some yellow rice to go with with their chicken so this is what our stuffed chicken breast look like and i'm gonna make my plate and i'm gonna have dinner all right you guys so here is my plate my stuffed chicken breast and i have some green beans on the side i'm gonna cut this and give this a taste just to see what everything tastes like i'm pretty sure this chicken is done it's been in the oven for i said i cooked it for an hour Oh yeah, y'all, it's good and done in there. Yeah, that chicken is it's good and done. I'm gonna get some of the stuffing with it. See what it tastes like. It's hot too, y'all. It is hot. I'm gonna blow it. Uh. Hot. Mm. That is delicious. Wow. That is really delicious. Nice, low carb, really filling meal that I'm gonna have for tonight. All right, y'all, so I'll see y'all back here in just a little bit. All right, you guys, so I think that's gonna do it for tonight's video. Um, it is 6.40 right now. I've already started my dishwasher. I got the kitchen pretty much cleaned up. And um, I'm probably just going to have me another cup of coffee and probably one of my little fiber one um, bars. Y'all, that chicken was so good. And I am, like, we are all just stuck. That's why I only made three because I knew they were going to be, you know, really big chicken breast so i only made three and we just we couldn't eat another bite even if i had more we wanted more we are just completely stuffed for the night but i'm gonna have a coffee i probably will have something sweet like my chocolate fiber one brownie bar and that's gonna do it for today's video you guys hope you enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed my timu haul you see mike you did and um yeah so i'm gonna say good night to you all if you are new welcome thank you all for subscribing if you have subscribed i do appreciate it uh, give the video a thumbs up for me, you guys. That really helps me out. And um, you can always leave a question or a comment down below. All right, you guys. Have a great rest of your evening. And as always, you guys already know, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye now.